Hello, greetings. I to the allegedly two of you that are here. Not counting myself. Gonna do some hand stretches before we get started because I'm all about taking care of yourself. I say as I have fucked my body over to the point of needing three arm surgeries. Hey, you gotta learn a lesson somehow. If anybody be out there, I hope you are having a lovely day. Ah, uh, big, big stretch. Uh, I always get the full spine cracks whenever I do the big stretch on the stream. Started streaming at the same time as me. If he's still streaming by the time I'm done, maybe I'll read into him. Alright, let's switch screens. Welcome. I am doing a-okay. I went into stream yesterday, but, um, my brain was not having it. So we're streaming today instead. An assignment for class. Who I can be responsible? What class is it? Tuesday, but I have been having a week.
I think about yourself. Very good. Thank you, Magic Chemist. I was like having uh, a very bad sensory day yesterday. Uh, it was probably hormonal, but I was I was very aggro yesterday. And uh, my cat Sherman was mad about something, so he kept going wah, wah at me. He has food, he has water, he has a clean litter box, so none of us could figure out what was wrong. But he kept yelling, and that caused uh, my brain to like shut down, because I could not handle all that noise. So, my plants to stream yesterday were thwarted by a little kitty cat and possibly my hormones. Thank you for the follow, Chubby. Welcome. <laughs> My god. I, I know that's a booty shake emoji, but I can't tell who or what it is. I can't see it. <laughs> spawned in as ancient Greymon, how about that? It's a potato? Amazing. Wow, the ancient Greymon spread is really cool. I'm so glad you love Digimon. There are a lot of Digimon to choose from for my stream avatars if you want to scroll through them. come with like two pen settings. There's the one you draw with and then you flip it over and it's a different one and usually people use that as an eraser, which is what I was doing. And I flipped it over and for some reason it decided to just change itself to my default brush and I'm like, can you not do that? <coughs> oh man, <laughs> uh, depending on how old those cards are and what sets they're from, you might want to check the prices on those. Digimon card game is like a cult collector's item right now. Or like the Digimon top card games multiple because they had like seven of them. Oh no, you oh no, oh no, you, you might still want to check. One of my favorite videos is a Curtis Connor video about the Digimon card game where he was trying to hunt down some cards that like had no pictures online. Stretch! Okay. And poster check. Uh, if you want to watch that video, it's really fun. So just search Curtis Connor Digimon and you'll find it. It's a great time. And it also is... I, listen, I, I love collecting Pokemon cards, and it's like a sickness, and I'm like, wow, what if I started collecting Digimon cards, and that's the devil talking. That's the devil talking. <sighs> Stretching has been had, and I'm already setting up right. There's no telling how long stream will last because my my fuse has been magic cards. <laughs> yeah, I, I've had friends trying to get me into Magic the Gathering, and I'm like, I am not that stupid. <laughs> that would really be. Yeah, um, God, what the fuck was I gonna say? Yeah, my my fuse has been really short lately. Um, 
So that there's no telling how long the stream will last. I could run out of energy in the blink of an eye, or I could go until 10 p.m. We never know. Um, yeah, I heard the game gets wild. I'm still haunted by knowing how expensive some cars get in Magic, and I'm like, no, no. But yeah, speaking of Digimon, either on or off stream, whenever I finish this commission tonight, um, I intend to keep working on my next uh, Digimon Tarot card. I started buying it the other night, uh, but I've been a little slow because I've been working on commissions. I can give y'all a peek at that here in a second. Thank you. I'm working on uh, the Emperor card. I'll let y'all see the sketch. Please load. Please load. Alright, here we go. There you go. There's the Emperor card. I have a sketch for it. The Empress is um, Ajay Laban and uh, Holy Draman. So, it, when you put them next to each other, they're like uh, mirror pictures. Thank you. I love these guys. Y'all are lucky. Normally, only patrons get to see those, uh, those sketch picks. But I have bestowed a gift upon me today. Your, what is your... That's not what I said, captions, but thank you. What is your favorite Digimon? Tough choices. to check my stream avatars to see if I have a specific one. You like Paimon? Nice. I don't have Shine Greymon. My captions are so bad. Chill out. My favorite is Violmon. Or Evilmon, depending on your translation. I like, I like saying Violmon more, so that's the one I go with.
Yeah, yeah. This mod is in a realm of its own. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, that's allowed. You can just do that. Yeah, there's some, uh... Digimon figures and statues that are so nice, but not nice to the wallet. Another one of my favorites is Devimon, and Devimon has so, so many cool merch pieces. But I, I like as much as I would like one of the really nice Devimon statues, I find myself drawn to like the really shitty quality teeny tiny figures you get like out of a gotcha machine or something. I need to open my eBay wishlist so you can say how down bad I am right now. Let's see. There are all these little, these little bitches are in my, in my eBay wishlist right now. Let me get a close-up on that teal one, because it's my favorite. Wow, check that out. <laughs> Look how beautiful he is, he looks like a ditto. He does look like candy. <laughs> He's got a deceptively friendly smile here. <laughs> this is a face I trust. It does look like a cereal box toy, you're right. What? My eraser keeps changing tools without me saying so. It's making me angry. Interesting. I think I have a couple of Korean Pokemon cards. I know my little sister has, um... My little sister has a Mega Handoom card that's Korean, I think. <laughs> That's hilarious. In it for the hustle. <laughs> Man, 
you know, your child is um, operating gambling ring via Beyblade. Not the precious cards. Um, I was mentioning that I like collecting Pokemon cards. I have a couple of unopened Pokeball tins in my cabinet right now that I'm saving to open for my birthday, and I, I tell you, it is so hard to resist opening them. <laughs> it is a birthday treat, and my birthday is not until the 24th. I don't know why I open Pokemon cards. Last night, I had a dream that I went to the grocery store and I found so many Pokemon cards for sale at ridiculously low prices. And I'm like, wow, I hope this is a good omen, because I would, I would like some discount Pokemon cards really badly. I haven't done a Pokemon card opening stream in forever. Because it is an expensive hobby. Pokemon card sets keep coming out like every month now. And they're always like, look at this beautiful new card of your favorite Pokemon. And I'm like, wow, I can't keep up. Please slow down, I am begging you. I bought some, um, I, I don't think it counts as like a blind box set, but, um, I went antiquing a couple months ago, and some antique stores had like little baggies full of stacks of Pokemon cards, and it's like, you get a guaranteed set number of hollows in this. Can't guarantee that'll be good, but you'll get it. Um, and like, they're almost universally shitty sets of cards, but they are very fun to go through. TCG section. I feel like I'll only put a TCG section in there if I get sponsored by some sort of card company for my card streams. Yeah, get in there. It's a bigger collection. Alright, I'll make a look at it. I'm opening my phone for this. Disgusting. Oh. Gobamon's even wearing Joe's glasses. <laughs> no, don't wink. Don't wink it. <laughs> don't enable. Light boxes are really fun. And really dangerous. Sometimes I'll go to a store that's like a library or something that will have a whole section of different kind of little blind box figures. And one of my favorite ones that I found, it, well there was two different sets, but they're like, they're just mushrooms. I have some of them over on my good feeling shrine. Sh shrine, excuse me. 
Um, I don't know what kind of mushrooms they are, but they're very pretty. myself a second webcam because uh, when I'm using my webcam for VTubing like this, I can't use it for anything else. It, it's like, I can do one thing. Um, so whenever I have another Pokemon card opening stream, whoa, my wrist went all the way around. Well, <laughs> whenever I have another Pokemon card opening stream, I'm going to have to revert to PNG mode. Which isn't the worst thing in the world, but I would like to have, like, full body reactions whenever I'm doing that kind of stuff. So I gotta get myself a shitty webcam at some point. But not too shitty, I would like to see the cards. Instead, I had that dream last night where I found a bunch of really cheap Pokemon cards. And I'm ashamed to say that's not the first time I've had that dream. <laughs> I have to be responsible and not buy Pokemon cards all the time. Because that would be bad for my wallet. But um, to satiate my uh, urges, uh, <laughs> a very sad activity I like to partake in is go on all of my usual sites where I buy Pokemon cards, fill my car up as much as I want with everything I want, and it ends up being like $700, and then I just don't buy anything. I look through things, put it in my cart, and then I close the tab. <laughs> for my birthday if I can afford it, but I'm waiting to know how much I have to pay in taxes for last year. Um, I don't know how much wiggle room I have for my birthday until after I do my taxes, and I'm just at the mercy of waiting to know because I have a tax guy that helps with my taxes because I don't know what I'm doing. And he's like, you're not that far back in my queue, I'll get to it soon. I'm like, okay, thank you. And I don't know how soon, soon is. It's a fucking nightmare, I tell you what. Especially as a freelance artist where art is my only income. Woof. state of dread 
until I know how much taxes I owe, because, uh, I... <laughs> I might be losing all of my savings. Just based on the math I've done myself, I don't know how much, uh, more I can get deducted. Too, but it's really difficult when I don't have a driving license, driving's license, I don't have a car, and if my neighborhood is not within walking distance of anything. We're like right off the side of a highway, you have to go far to get into town for things. Yeah, my, my Patreon is like nice pocket money right now. There's definitely nothing to sneeze at, but... God, money's hard. Yeah, I, I've looked into things that I can do remotely, but I am... Unfortunately, I, I, I could qualify as some sort of disabled when it comes to my arms. Um, I've had three surgeries in my drawing arm, and both of my arms experience extreme amounts of pain all the time and doing jobs like excessive typing is really hard so it's like my options are so ridiculously limited i've considered applying for like government disability but then i would fall under that problem of i can't have a specific amount of money on my person otherwise i lose my disability benefits and I'm like, then what's the fucking point? What's the point? What do you, uh, what, what do you mean, our donation streams? How, how would one of those operate? It's like, I, I am confident that I could qualify for multiple disability claims, but it's like, I, I think the asset limit is like $2,000. I'd have to double check that. It might be different by state, but um, I'm like, I don't, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Claypots. Our government is a fucking nightmare. different from them just asking for a commission because my commissions are already kind of expensive. Um, I don't know, maybe I could do a, a Donathon stream or something at some point. But I'll, I'll hold off on that until I know how deep in the gutter I am after taxes. Yeah. I have a couple things on the back burner if I am in a tight spot.
Jesus. That sure sounds nice. <laughs> Yeah, how long were your streams? I've done, I've done pretty long streams before, I just have to take breaks for food and whatnot. Ten hours, I think I might have done at least a couple ten hour streams. Yeah, my uh, mental capacity these days is not very good, so I would have to probably break that up a bit more. The other day, I was, um, I think on my very last stream, I was working on this piece. Let me open it. I was working on this piece for uh, Dresden, who I'm also working on a piece for right now. Um, and I got through all of the line art and, like, half of the flat colors. And then just suddenly my mind was like, you're done. You cannot do this anymore. You need to leave. <laughs> so I'm like, I need to shut the screen down right now. I have to go. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I love, I love having autism and having a social timer that I can't always track. A lot of the times, it's like a combo of social timer and then, like, fatigue from being hungry. So sometimes I'll take a break to eat and then I'll come back to drawing. Uh, but other times I'll be like, okay, it's time to eat, am I gonna take a break? And I'm like, no, 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 you are done and you don't want to talk to anyone for three days. <laughs> I'm really happy with how this piece turned out, though. I was telling Dresden that uh, this, like, uh, monster head design right here could make a really cool Digimon. Fun stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Dresden's conditions are always really fun when they turn out neat. The complicated part about this condition is, like, y'all can't see it on the sketch, because the sketch is really rough, but, um, he's gonna have, like, some squirrel power effects here, and, um, it was described to me that his powers are gravity-based, so I was like, hey, Dresden, what if I, like, um, put some light distortion around the swirls a little bit, like what happens around images on a black hole? Like, black hole bending light around it. And I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna pull that off yet, but I'm excited to try, because it was my idea, <laughs> and I would like it to be good. I was considering, um, doing some fun stuff on my birthday for a birthday stream, but I think there is another strike for Palestine happening during my birthday, so I might have to have like a late birthday stream. Which is not a problem, I just need to figure out dates and what all of them I'm doing. That's part of, part of the reason I've been saving those little Pokemon tins. I don't have enough for like an entire Pokemon card opening stream, but I have a couple tins for a couple minutes.
Maybe I'll play Drawn to Life 3 for my birthday stream. I've been holding off on that because I want to make like a cute little promo picture for when I play that. I want to have people tell me what stupid shit to draw. When I play it. Hi, hello, I see you staring. <laughs> You're staring intently. first Drawn to Life game a little while ago, and I shared in my server some of the funny shit that I drew, um, and then I played Drawn to Life 2 for the first time immediately after it, which, very good game, it made me cry quite a bit, and I also shared in my server things that I drew in that game. So I'm excited for people to give me silly suggestions for drawing stuff. Though the first two hours of whatever, whenever I play that is going to be all in the character creator because that's how long it's going to take me to fucking draw my character. Maybe not that long. It took me that long in Draw the Life 2, but I am... I was drawing on a tiny DS screen, and I'm sure it won't be as bad if I'm using the tablet. Because Ronda Life 3 is on the computer. Drawn to Life is so nice. If you have a DS, I recommend getting it. It's very cute, very sweet, very fun. to do some, like, pre-testing with uh, the Drawn to Life game on the computer because I actually don't know if my tablet's compatible with it. It should be because it's just like a mouse replacement, but sometimes my tablet gets picky about some programs. Wonderful. Please share. Oh, 
I, yeah, I've, I've done it. I just haven't checked to see if... I haven't opened the game yet. <laughs> Yeah, I, it is a mystery. It should work. It should work. But, uh, if it doesn't, I physically can't play it. Because <laughs> I can't use my mouse to draw, it would actually break my hand. So I would be very devastated, actually, if my tablet doesn't work. I drink. Mind if I do? Oh! Where did my sound effect go? What? Try again. Just angry. I saw, I saw it. <laughs> nice jump, first try. Good job. dinner time. Y'all behave.
Wait till stretch and snack break. Everybody do stretches. Maybe chillin'. Also, I'm changing the music. I love Pokemon Black and White soundtrack, but I really want to listen to Normal Life. It's haunting my brain. No, not a thing to see. You. There is no record of your wrongdoings in my chat. See you in a bit.
wait a minute, is my lip command not working? Now it's working, what happened? Oh, interesting. I didn't mean for that to be in all caps. Excuse me. Apologies for cream, please. I'm taking a bite of snack. It is a fruit strip.
Thank you. Whoa, I am so sorry for that. I just dropped my tablet pen and it was way too loud. I scared Sherman awake. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh my god. That scared me a bit, too. For those who aren't aware, uh, when I'm using my voice mod, I can hear myself as I talk, and boy. Boy, that was a sound.
Excuse me. Hydrate.
to drop a zipper. Hi, there is no interrupting. I was only in quiet time because nobody else was talking. <laughs> I'm also quiet because I'm in big focus mode. God damn it. Okay, hold on. Now I can actually see. Problem with characters that have gray on them is I sometimes can't see where I'm coloring because my base layer is usually gray. Solution, make it pink.
しゃべり This doesn't even anywhere include the、uh, swirly and whatever facts that I'm gonna do later on top of all of it. That's fun. Alright, let's see. How much did you get cut off? Whoa! That's intense. Rest in peace to your hair, though. I've been wanting to get my hair cut. Um. Uh, it, it makes me uncomfortable when my hair gets to a certain length. Uh, if it's like touching my face or the back of my neck, it makes me feel nasty. And I've been in that zone for a little bit too long.、Um, the problem is, like, I like how my hair looks when it's this length, but I don't like how it feels. And I'm like, can't I just 
have one thing. Oh, there, it's already almost 5 o'clock. I gotta start thinking about what I want for dinner. I am wishing your hair the best. What do you think of them pails, Dresden? What do you think of them pails?
Dresden, I'll send you a version with and without the uh, power effects. Because I know it's going to cover quite a bit of this once I get to it. Hello, Kazu, welcome. <laughs> Listen, wings are cool, and that's okay. It is that time of day. I'm going to take a little break to go see what I can make for my dinner. And I do believe I have the mental capacity to keep streaming after I eat, so we'll just hang out here for a little bit. Thank you, Kazu. I'm having a lot of fun with this one. But yeah, I will be back. You all enjoy yourselves. Chill to the, uh, drawn to life music. I'll be back in a bit.
Nutritious. It is very hot, temperature wise, right now, too. So I have to be careful because I will burn myself. But while I'm taking my food break, what do y'all got going on? What do you want to talk about? Tell me things. Screen, but I do not have a capture card. It was the expensive. to bring forth pieces of knowledge, but you never know what that word is until it just happens like a super soldier. Expensive. These noodles are still hot, temperature-wise. They are spicy also, but I'm trying not to burn myself.
gonna hear me doing the sniffles for a little bit because of spicy food. <laughs> also, I'll save this for like maybe a movie night on my server or a watch party night if it's only 47 minutes long. But um, there's a movie that I've been trying to find for almost two years. Um, it's a movie featuring the actor Dwight Fry from the 1930s. And the only thing that existed of this movie online was a couple of clips uploaded to YouTube. But the movie itself, you could not find it legally or illegally anywhere. It just did not exist. You can't even buy it on DVD or VHS. It's called The Western Code. It's a very shitty old Tim McCoy Western movie. And I only wanted it because it had Dwight Fry in it, who's my favorite actor ever. Rest in peace. Um, but also, in trying to find this movie, I learned that it was the origin of the phrase, this town ain't big enough for the two of us. And I'm like, are you kidding me? How do we not have this piece of film history preserved somewhere? It's like, I can't believe it. But I made Reddit posts, I made posts on every side I have, begging people, like, hey, do you have this movie? Do you know where this movie is? Do you know somebody I can call? And the whole two, almost two years, I heard nothing. Nobody had any insight. There was one split second where um, some eBay partner site had an alleged DVD rip of the movie for sale. And I was trying to message the seller being like, please send me a video of the opening title crawl. I need to know this is, if this is legit. And they took the listing down. <laughs> so it probably wasn't legit, legit. But then a couple weeks ago, somebody DM'd me on Twitter being like, hey, I found your uh, Reddit post from so and so years ago asking about the movie, did you ever find it? And I'm like, no, I didn't. Are you also on the hunt? And then they were like, yeah, I actually have been put in contact with some shady movie dealer, and they say they have this movie, and I'm taking the risk to buy it. And I'm like, Godspeed, you crazy son of a bitch, I hope you will get it. And wouldn't you know that shady, <laughs> that shady movie dealer actually fucking had this nearly lost media movie. It's not the best quality, it's a VHS rip, but since it's been found, it's been uploaded to YouTube and the Internet Archive, so it will be preserved forevermore. And I legit almost cried when that person told me they found it, because I... I have been obsessing over the inability to find that movie this whole time. <laughs> I mean, they're still a little shady because they seem to be uh, legally dubious at best. <laughs> But yeah, I, I finally got to watch The Western Code the other night. It's very silly, it's very camp, because it's a very old Western with very <laughs> shitty quality. The actors aren't that great, except Dwight, because Dwight can do no wrong. Um, but it was a very good time, and I would actually recommend watching it, because it's, it's a nice little piece of film history. I linked it on my Twitter, but if y'all ever wanted, just Search The Western Code 1932. You should find it on a recent upload on YouTube. I have a Facebook account, but I literally only use it to interact with the Dwight Fry fan group. And when that movie was found, I made a post being like, it's, we found it, we found it, it's here. It'll never be lost again. And people were like, oh my god. Because of course, these people who are equally as obsessed over Dwight Fry's meme were all devastated to know that this movie just could not be found in full. Um, but now they'll never have to be devastated again.
I don't think I would even get copyright stricken if I played that movie in full on stream. I'm not gonna do it today, because I'm on a roll with art. But maybe, maybe for my birthday stream weeks, or week of birthday streams, maybe one day I'll put that on. Rip Dresden. My precious powder ring, gone forever. Food is a little difficult to eat today because I did only have the tiny forks. I needed a bigger fork, but they were all dirty. I lost my chicken. Where are my chicken pieces? There's to prioritize the chicken because I need to have nutrients in order to function. Oh, this is also funny and related to what I just talked about. So, uh, that actor I'm obsessed, um, obsessed over, I got interested in him after his performance in original Dracula. He played Renfield. And, um, I at one point wanted to get a Renfield cosplay, so it's just like a fancy old tweed suit. But the problem is... The necktie he wears at the beginning of the movie, it's like a chain pattern that's so hyper specific. And I was like, surely this is like not that hard to find, right? Nope. That exact tie does not exist on this planet Earth. And it, I'm at, at this point, I'm convinced it might have been a custom made tie just for the movie. Because I could not find the brand, I could not find anything close to the style. And after, after the movie was found, I added a tweet being like, I guess my true white whale is just this necktie that doesn't exist. And the, the person who found the movie was like, no way, you're looking for that tie too? And I'm like, wow, I can't believe, I can't believe we have the same ring. Such deep struggle for our obscure favorite actor. I need to have a movie night where I just play some of my favorite Twilight Fry films. One of my favorites is uh, called The Shadow. And it's about uh, it takes place at a circus, and it's a crime mystery movie. Murder mystery, I should say. Um, and I won't get 
too much of it away because it is actually a pretty good movie, but I think I'll find a day to watch that in my server with people. And maybe this Valentine's Day I'll have a Dracula movie night. Because Dracula came out on Valentine's Day. Welcome to my food break time, which is special interest podcast info dump. Or info dump podcast. something fascinating recently. Um, the actor who plays Dracula, Bela Lugosi, I love him deeply, he's my everything. Um, I learned that he was the real-life ref motion reference for Chernobyl in Fantasia. And there is only one single image of him in the role, or doing his, uh, motions for the role. single image that exists of Bela Lugosi doing his motion acting for Chernobyl. And I'm like, of course. Of course it was him. I should have known by how they drew the hands. He's got such specific hand acting. That just made me really happy to know. He did an amazing job. spicier as I go. It's okay. I'm digging in my brain for special interests. kind of spicy picture of Bella Lugosi. I'm not going to put that on stream. It's not anything inappropriate, but I will be abnormal about it. Now that song has lyrics. There we go. Excuse me. I should get a Trinobot figure. There's some really cool ones. Okay. 
I think I've consumed enough to not pass out. I'm gonna put the lid on my noodles. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little sniffly for a hot minute. This is spicy food, and I apologize. All right, Capri Sun finishing it off. Here's the, here comes the noises. Capri Sun sponsor me. I will ask it every time. I know they're not listening, but someday they will. I don't imagine they're eager to have a demon on the face of their uh, merchandise, but uh, <coughs> I deserve it. I deserve a Capri Sun sponsorship. I deserve to be paid to drink my favorite drink. Okay, I just have the main body left to shade, and then we can get to the effects. <sighs> and then if I still have, excuse me, if I still have mental capacity after uh, finishing this commission, I might stream while I work on the next Digimon Tarot card. If I don't have mental energy, I'll still work on the tarot card, but like, after stream. <laughs> I, listen, there's nothing I want to be sponsored by more than Capri Sun and um, a, 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 some local trading card shop. I would love to be sponsored to do Pokemon book card openings. That one I would like even more than Capri Sun, but I think having my face on the Capri Sun would be really fun. <laughs> Yeah, Jason, I don't think you were here earlier when I was talking about this, but um, I want to open Pokemon cards so bad. I miss opening Pokemon cards on stream, but it is such an expensive hobby to have, so I haven't been able to do it. And then last night I had a dream that um, I was at the grocery store and I found Pokemon cards that were on sale for like crazy cheap. Crazy cheap, like less, um, more than 50% off. And I was so excited. I bought like $200 worth of Pokemon cards. Well, I spent, like, in my dream, I spent $200, but it was like $600 worth of cards. That's how good the discount was. And I was so thrilled. And then I wake up and I'm like, oh yeah, that's not real. <laughs> I have, um, a couple of unopened Pokemon card tins. Banjo. What? You just came in here yelling. What's up, honey? Okay. Why are you yelling? Okay, I'll hold it while I talk about this. Um, I have two Pokeball tins in my cabinet right now that I'm saving to open it for my birthday. Um, I want to buy a little bit more for my birthday, but I am still waiting to hear how much I owe in taxes, so I don't know if I can afford anything yet. It's prison off! Hopefully I know by next week, at the latest. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, and also Pokemon cards come out way too fast. They come out with a new set, like, at least every month now. And I'm like, please slow down. Please slow down, I physically cannot keep up. I don't know how anybody else can either. You got buddy. Boy. Alright, Banjo, jump down. Got the taxes indeed. Because I'm a homeowner now, I should uh, allegedly be able to deduct a bit more for my taxes this year on certain things, but I 
won't know until I hear back from my tax agent. And he, he says, you're in, the, you're in my queue, I'll have it out for you. Soon, I'm like, how soon? <laughs> I'd like to know before my birthday, please. Excuse me. I'm gonna ask my brother if he wants to last advice to my noodles. <laughs> oh my goodness. The answer was yes, he came to get the noodles immediately. <laughs> sniff, 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 sniff. Oh, this, this isn't Pokemon, but I have something that's been in my eBay wish list for a couple years. I'll show y'all. This um, 1994 set of like, like Universal Monster Trading Cards. It's it's like a whole display box unopened. I want this so fucking bad, but it's two hundred dollar. It's two hundred dollar, and I have no good reason to get that except for myself. It would make me happy, but it would not make my wallet happy. So it will continue to sit in my wish list. It is expensive, but it's a collector's item, so I don't blame it. Though it has it has not sold as long as it's been in my wish list, which is a long time. Congrats. Congrats on getting the star. Your star. Uh, they did offer me like a 10% off at one point, but like I still can't afford that. <laughs> I'm like, thank you, but it's not the time. Unfortunately, I wish it was. Alright, as you wish, America 
сказала. Just as welcome to redeem city time. Also, hi. Wait, excuse me. <laughs> Be strong. Endure. One of my YouTube kicks I've been on the past couple of weeks is watching people paint cars with fun colors like hyper shift pigment pigments. And I just realized that um, the way I colored the tails here kind of looks like a hyper shift pigment. And I'm like, wow, I want to watch more car videos. Also, uh, <laughs> I've mentioned this on stream a couple times for the past month or two. I've been binging Ghost Adventures because I hate myself. Uh, they have 28 seasons, one of which isn't on streaming services yet. And I have, like, nine episodes left. I'm finally almost done. That, I mean, this doesn't include any other extra stuff that 
counts as like different shows, like episode specials. So I'll have to get through those too, but I'm almost done. And I'm like, wow, this was not worth it. Zach makes me angry. Yesterday I was having, um, I mentioned earlier, I was having a really bad sensory day. Uh, Sherman was meowing at me a lot, and just his meowing was like setting me off. <coughs> Which isn't probably the case. I was very brain sensitive, and I think it was hormonal. But I was watching Ghost Adventures, and it got to a point where um, Zach Bacon's yells all the time. He's very loud, and his yelling voice was about to send me into a rage. So at one point last night, I'm like, I have to cut myself off a little earlier than normal because I'm about to be insane. I'm about to go insane. So soon, I will never have to listen to him again until the next season comes out, which won't be for a long while. sort of cleanse after I finish watching Ghost Adventures. Zach Bacon's is bad, bad for your health. I was saying how I might give myself an Animal Crossing day tomorrow, but now I'm like, hmm, what if I do today instead? What if I play Animal Crossing today, and then I draw a Digimon card tomorrow? And depending on when the stream ends, I might do that. Because I deserve it. Oh no, I forgot to cover the blue ring on the hat. Consider drawing that before, and I just haven't fucking done it. <laughs> I, I imagine he would look close to like the. Uh... Oh, let me see if I can just open it. Where is he? Where is he? It's a picture I use all the time. It's it's drawn by my friend Pal. Uh, yes I have. If I didn't have all of my favorite villagers, I would probably use mods, but I'm happy with what I do have. Oh, there it is, I found it. <laughs> it would probably look something like this, but more Animal Crossing proportion, of course. I should actually draw that sometime. I've been wanting to draw him in a lot of ways, like, um, 
in the style of Cult of the Lamb, too. I have already drawn him as a My Little Pony. Pony. It was a rough sketch, but I have done it. <laughs> you are cursed to never be satisfied. I don't know what fate you pissed off. This is your burden to bear. I just want to play Animal Crossing and go fishing really bad right now. Dresden happen. Consider this. How about you just give him multiple outfits? He can change his clothes. How about that? The rest of his design is finalized. Just give him, give him, give, give him different clothes. Give him a formal outfit. And the best part, listen, the best part about giving him alternate outfits is I already have the base drawn for him. I have his nude base, so you can just throw other outfits on him. I'm shaking you. I'm shaking you. <laughs> Save yourself from yourself. Ha <laughs> ha 
in prison. <laughs> you poor creature. <laughs> I think there's a layer setting on here where I can make colors go reverse. Let me check real quick. Difference. Whoa! Yeah, Tracy, that's appropriate. Dresden, what do you think of this uh, negative effect on the black hole fish that I'm doing right now? Do you love it? Do you hate it? The rest of the um, swirls are on their way. I was gonna go with, I, I was originally just gonna go with like the outline of the fist, but this is really fun. Let's see, how am I going to go about this? Uh, I, th I know I've done similar effects before. Okay, let's fuck around a bit. It has to stick in front of the effects. Hold on, there's an easier way to do this.
Your mind is an enigma. My mind is also chaos right now because I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to just a look or how I'm supposed to execute this. I'm like, I, it's clear in my mind, and then I put my pen on the paper, and it's like, no, you don't actually know what you do. I'm like, no, I don't. I should know. I should. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere, baby! The fun part is, uh, figuring out that light bending effect that I told you about earlier with black holes. Again, conceptually I know how to do it, but I have not done it in practice. as always. <sighs> okay, that is not at all the final colors, but shape-wise, I like how that swirl looks. safe. Oh, sure, man, are you so sleepy? He's curled up in such a tight ball, I can't even see his face or his limbs.
make this look like sort of like an accretion disk. At least a little bit. Because that will make the light bending effect look in place. Is the water still streaming? Let's see. He is. And I'll, I'll still be streaming when I'm done, so I can read into him. He's been going about as long as I have. God, let me forget to do the demon fire on the wings. I definitely was so close to forgetting until just now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Resident, how is this looking? Is it vibing?
Seems to be working, according to Spider and Zathbots as well. Here comes the interesting part. Wait, actually, Demon Fire first, because that might also win. Let's see, what colors did I use last time? I think this is my favorite song in the soundtrack. Do I have a favorite character? Yes, it's the vampire. Count Choco. 
is adorable. I found Time Chuck and Count Chocolate's spreadsheet the other day, so I could convert him into a little walk around character down here, but I just haven't done it yet. Because it's a task that my brain has no room for. Woo! I don't want to become the Count. I want, uh, I want to be with the Count. My interest with vampires is not aspirational, it's romantic. <laughs> Trying chocolate and drawing to life is very cute, and I wish I had. I wish there was a plush on him. If I had the money, I would go so far as to get one custom made, but. Alas. I am not. that liquid right now. Here's where it gets funky. <laughs> yeah, the, the ending really hits you out of nowhere, but I really liked it. I thought it was neat.
This is looking pretty neat, if I do say so myself. There's a few messy parts I need to work around, but we're getting to it.
Dresden, do you prefer, um, do you prefer the effect here fading out at the edges, or do you like it where it's thick, like this? Thick or fading? Coaster! It had to be at the tail end of the stream here, but I'm glad you made it! It seems good. Okay. Find a picture of a black hole real quick. See if I can pull this effect off or if it's too much. We're gonna find out together. I'm glad you popped in to say hi.
Apologies. I have sneezed. I'm not sure I got exactly what I wanted with this effect, but it doesn't look bad to me. Dresden, do you think with or without the uh, color bending effect here? Seems fine with it, I agree. Alright, well, did I forget anything? Have I forgotten anything? Is he done? Have I done it? Okay, Dresden, I said I was going to send you um, a version with and without the effects. I think that's... Um, can I put them next to each other on the official image? Like, uh, like this. Obviously, I have to extend the canvas a little bit to give you what I'm going for. I do wish to, because I would like people to see the sick-ass pose in its entirety. Wow, it's still not big enough, hold on. I 
my friend, thank you. You catching me right at the end here. I am uh, arranging these to post. And then I'm gonna find somebody to raid. I think Lore is still streaming, let me check. Yes, he is. He's gonna be it if he's still done in the next 10, ten minutes. How are you doing, Wire? What is up? Sometimes I save this part for after stream, but I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and get this put together on its posting. It's posting poses. Because we're chilling. We're chilling. Did you get your work done? so bad about this because this file is huge. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Sounds fun. <laughs> Dresden. Dresden, I know, and also I'm sorry because every file I send you is so big. <laughs> history biggest file that I've had to process. I won't open like the whole layered file because that would probably kill my computer, but I'll show you like the full size PNG. <laughs> Excuse me. Get the Okay wire. <laughs> I um I did another spear box session in my garage the other day. I haven't gone through the footage yet. But, um, I had something interesting happen. I, you know how last time, last time I was like, okay, I'm never gonna go without multiple cameras again. So I had two cameras this time. I had screen recording happening on a Discord call, like what happened with us. Um, and then I had my other camera set to, set beside it, aimed at me for extra angle and mic, and, and microphone pickup. In about 20 minutes, that battery drained completely. It was a full, fresh battery. The battery got drained. It was a brand new battery. <laughs> That's the first time I've had that happen. Which is very neat. It was a fun setup too, so I was on call with my brother who's in the same house as me, and he was uh, screen recording. Also on the call was... I've, I, you know, I've literally asked that. I'm like, why do you want to be in the garage? Huh? Like, I, I, 
I assume it's because of all the electricals in there. It's easy to like suck juices out of them. But uh, <laughs> so uh, on the call, it was me, my brother, and our friend Twig. Twig also has a spirit box and is in a much more haunted house than we are. So I was. Uh, we had a double Estes session happening where my brother was asking questions and my friend and I were both speaking spirit box with echoes in at the same time. And there was <laughs> there was one really funny moment where uh, let me see if I can remember how exactly this went. I haven't gone through the footage yet for this. I'll get to it at some point. Um, where oh yeah, uh, um, my friend Twig said I want, and then my brother asked, "What do you want?" And then I said, "Refrigerator." <laughs> There is a refrigerator in, our, in my garage, so I thought that was funny. And then my brother was like, do you want like a beer or something? Because or... <laughs> that's most of what's in, most of what's in, that, in that fridge. <laughs> oh, jeez. That fucking killed me. Also, um, the, uh, uh, you, you recall this... <laughs> Whenever spirits here like to say weird, creepy stuff, they came out swinging in the first, <laughs> in the first sentence. I, I put the headphones in and my brother was like, uh, what's your name? And then I said, the beast. <laughs> and I'm like, great. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> I may be going somewhere, uh, more legitimately haunted for my birthday, but we're waiting to figure out if we can afford it. There's a very cute haunted inn in a town, like 30 minutes away from here. for a Dresden Dragon in the chat. Where are you? Is that what you were hiding? There you are. Counter Raid. I was, the entire time I was screaming, I was like, wow, I hope I finish first so I can raid into lore. I'm about to raid into lore. And then, <laughs> and then you raid into me first. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna fucking get you. <laughs> oh, I should probably do my, I should probably do a spiel or something. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just too gobsmacked because I'm so mad at you. <laughs> Hi, anybody who's not familiar with me, I'm Taro Guitar, or you can call me Bull. Either, either works. I'm a digital artist. And I'm currently finishing a commission. Making me stream forever? No, you can't. You can't. I want to go play Animal Crossing. We'll find somebody else less cool to read into. I, that is a joke. Whoever I'm reading into, if you check the VOD, you're probably really cool. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that's how much we get his ass. Alright, let me get my watermarks and then we'll be wrapping up. Nice to see you! Days I'll get a capture card so I can play Animal Crossing on stream. I want to do that so bad, but capture cards are so expensive. <laughs> Which is at 69 69% capacity. Ha ha ha. So bad. Why do you have Animal Crossing? Do you want to come to my island? Hello, Fury. What's up, it is more rated into me right as I'm about to end stream, so we're about to double rate. <laughs> but I am so thankful for you all being here with me while we have this time together. And I'm speaking as if I'm dying or something. <sighs> okay, there's all the PNG saved. I just gotta resize them, and then I'll kick you all out. Ooh, ooh, size lightning. Ooh. I closed that big ass file and size like. I just reduced the size of this picture. But let me undo the reduce so you can see how big it is at 100%. Okay, this is 100% zoom. I am in Maniac. Thank you, Wire. Big picture indeed. And I, I said a second ago, I'll show you the. I 
think current biggest one I have. That my computer hates. Save, save, save. Ironically, the biggest picture I have it was made for Lord Dragon. So funny that he showed up for that. Alright. Dresden, I will send you those files once stream is over. Woo! Okay. Here's... <laughs> I'm not gonna do them. Is this the full size one? That is not. No, that is. That is reduced. Oh, here we go. Hold on. This is the transparent version. My size wise, this one's huge. Okay. Okay. This is Lord Greymon. Here we go. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Zoom in. It's 100%. A big boy. A big... Digi man. Lore said he was gonna model this for himself and he hasn't done it yet. If he's listening, I am watching. <laughs> Everybody go pester him about it. Tell him this has to be made real. I will say this is, uh, I, this is... What? What? I already did! It's in there! Brother says I'm urgently needed. <laughs> okay, let, me, let me wrap up the stream for a second, okay? <laughs> he says I have to. Speaking of Digimon, he says I have to post Digimon something in uh, the Terror Time server. <laughs> okay, let's switch screens. Great timing on this part. You know, I'm gonna be super zoomed in this time. I'm not gonna properly sit in my chair. You're gonna get me this close and you're gonna be okay with that. Alright, who we got? Let's see. Read, read, read. Do y'all want to uh, go see another artist working on something really pretty, or do you want to go see um, to see my friend play Mad Max? Gaming or art? First person gets to choose. First person who says it. Games. Fuck. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go art. We're gonna go art, because you said you said art before game. You played yourself. enabled. I guess that picks for me then. We're gonna go to my friend who's playing Mad Max. We're going to Lady of the Dragons. There we go. Alright, we got the 
it's a uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, I appreciate the rain. Thank you again, Lord, even though you're not going to hear me. <laughs> I'm glad you were able to make it. Hopefully I'll stream again soon. Maybe tomorrow, if I am not stuck in Animal Crossing. And I'm really sure to hydrate, get a snack, do your stretches, take care of yourself or else. Yippee! Yippee! Thank you for the follow! Thank you for the follow, right as I mean. <laughs> Alright, take your meds if you need to. I said things out of order, but that's whatever. Uh, I love you all. Hail Satan. Good night. Da da.